and getting his first crack as a head coach in the NFL. They've won three in a row. Jeff Fisher's been around 20 years in this league as a head coach. Vikings won the toss and deferred to getting the football into the second half. They fake it to Gurley. They fake it to Tavon Austin. Foles being chased, and he will dump it off to Austin. And he dropped it. No gain. Second down and 10. First carry of the game for Gurley. And he has met head on right at the line of scrimmage to Anthony Barr and Limbaugh. Joseph on the stop. Third down and 10. And Lewis trying to make it work today. Throws incomplete, was under heavy pressure. Part of the reason, they get the third down and can't convert. We just saw it again, 26% coming into the game. Very short punt by the normally reliable Johnny Hecker. Minnesota opens up and tries to get big early. Well, they think in one way and wide open is the backup tight end. That is Red Ellison. It looked like they had Stephon Diggs wide open down the sideline. I by himself. And it's a gain of five on first down. Penalty flag down. Peterson off to the left side will be denied first down yardage. Third game in four weeks with Mr. Torbert and his crew. Offside. Five. Defense. Number 90. Five yard penalty. Results. And first down. Spectacular for them has really opened up things out wide for Teddy Bridgewater in the offense. Peterson bottled up at the line of scrimmage, tries to break it to the outside. Great pursuing Rams defense runs him out of bounds. We'll, we'll accede to his wishes, wishes and watch him play. He's something. Play fake to Peterson. Bridgewater steps up, lobs down the sideline, had an open Mike Wallace and missed it. He had slipped behind Maurice Alexander, who starts in place of TJ McDonald. Down and 10 at the Rams 36 yard line. Great protection. How about that throw? Threading the needle right between Laurinaitis and LaMarcus Joyner. That is a first down to Jarius Wright. Put it Peterson inside the 20, down to the 17 yard line. Two time NFL rushing leader. Again to Peterson on second and three. And patiently trying to find the first down marker. Comes up short. It'll bring up third down and two. Rams defense in the red zone. Both of these teams scuffle offensively in the red zone. And that was nearly intercepted. Short crossing route to Charles Johnson. And Johnson, Tremaine, no relation right there with him. An excellent defensive play by Tremaine Johnson on the corner. Blair Walsh is hit on 13 in a row. Good snap. Good hold and make it 14 in a row. It all began with a poor punt by Hecker. Guys, a lot of wind down here on the field, so none of these catches by these receiving guys are guaranteed. That one blasted through the back of the end zone again by Blair Wolf. He's only 21 years old, a native of Charleville, North Carolina. Fumbled snap. They hand it to Gurley off the right side. His best run in the early part of this game, and it's close to a 10-yard pickup. It's legitimately how it rolled out in line for this game. Try to walk that one over the defender did Foles incomplete. Second down and 10 rushes nine yards against the Steelers and then got loose the following week in a big upset at Arizona. Nowhere close to the intended receiver Brian Quick. It's another open receiver though. Yes. Pressure comes again. Early. That's an outstanding tackle made in the open field by Anthony Barr. He worries about the little things, about tackling, blocking. That's why this team is so good. Becker, better punt here. Sheriffs, who ran one back for a touchdown last week, dropped right where he caught it. Be right. Otherwise, those kids are going somewhere else. It's Williams Arena where they play basketball. There's a first down incompleted pass, and a penalty flag is down. They'll throw it on Janoris Jenkins, who was on the rookie Stephon Diggs. Not many people have taken very many shots at Janoris Jenkins lately. He's playing at a very high level That's on the corner. Defense, number 21. 
Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. Three nothing. Pointing at one another. I think the Vikings going to be the ones who get the penalty. But they're having a pretty good discussion between officials on this one. Neutral zone infraction. Defensive right tackle dumped in the neutral zone. Cause the offensive lineman to false start. It's a five yard penalty. Still first down. Sometimes you can catch in the hard counts and changing your cadence. Did it again. Well, look like Peterson started early that time. We'll see. Even he's ready to go. <laughs> Maybe the center. A lot of anticipation for this game. Yep. Five yard penalty. It's still first down. So we've had uh, three penalties consecutively. So you went first and ten to first and five, and now first and ten again. And Peterson up to the 35-yard line, a gain of seven. I mean, Sid McCoy's name much this year. Beat up. There's a throw wide open is Johnson, and he's inside the 45, close to the 40-yard line. Inside the St. Louis 41-yard line, first and ten, Viking. And again, they're going to throw it. Dump it off. Out of the backfield to Adrian Peterson. People forget Peterson is an excellent receiver. They haven't asked him to do a lot of it through the years. Peterson to touch it, but doesn't necessarily always have to be on a running play, especially not on first and ten. Second and one again to play fake one way. They misdirection the other way. And that's a big tight end who's healthy again. Golden Domer, Kyle Rudolph. The completion in first down. Flag again. And this is going to be against Minnesota. They blew it dead. Well, now uh, perhaps this may be against uh, Nick Fairley, Outside. number 98. Defense, number 98, under the quarterback. It's a five-yard penalty. Still first down. Number, number one. one in the NFL in red zone defense. <laughs> well, they're running this over and over again. Not Rudolph this time, it's Michael Pruitt, the rookie out of Southern Illinois, grew up just outside of St. Louis. Deep of that every single down. Loaded on the right side of that line, and it's Peterson, he'll dance his way, untouched to the end zone. Boy, they had loaded up on that right side. Harris, a guard, Clemmings, a tackle, Rudolph, a tight end. Nobody so much as put a breath on Peterson. And, and look at Mike Harris, 79, coming around from the guard position. Look at that lead block, which just escorts Adrian Peterson into the end zone. Look at his student body and the rest of the crowd, too. Point after by Walsh is good. Ten nothing Minnesota, and that one again through the back of the end zone, and the Rams will get it. At the that, that tells me they want to stay with the running game. Early. Slowed down initially as Sendejo came up to slow him down in the backfield. Allows your defense to be that much better in containing a good running game. Gurley looking right into the sunshine. Run out of bounds by Chad Green. And calls for one week for the Patriots. They'll do it. Third down, that's a good throw. First time we've called the name Tavon Austin. Number one pick three years ago. Ball start. Offense number 64. Five yard penalty, still first down. Go attacks the center when they're in gun formation. So first down, and they hand it to Gurley off the right side. Cuts back into the middle, run down by Lindvall Joseph, the former Giant. Austin will get the carry. And not much there. Slipped up again by Andrew Sinday. Key third down and still run it. Third down and five. Fake it twice. Looking for that ball down the middle to Kenny Britt. And he caught it. Got tangled up step for step. Down the middle of the field with Terrence Newman. That play was there earlier. They didn't hit it. They hit it now. It looked familiar, didn't it? Because this is the exact play they ran on the first play of the game. They'll fake it inside the girlie on a running play. They'll fake it.
connected to Austin on the ghost motion behind him. And then Foles launches it downfield. Kenny Britt on a deep post pattern. And he puts it out there perfectly. Look at the concentration by Britt. Because Terrence Newman actually hits him before the ball gets there. Britt's able to stay with it. And the Rams were forced to spend the timeout. So after the 57-yard gain, they hand it to Gurley. Still grinding those feet, pounding away, and very close to the goal line. It stopped apparently outside the one. Gurley. Slam, stays on his feet, and into the end zone goes a rookie out of Georgia, and the Rams are on the board. Got the big reception to Britt, and Gurley does a rest. And what? Yeah, he keeps his feet going here, Charles. He gets stuffed there in the beginning. Tony, was that bar that met him first, 55? Yeah, Took I the think big it pop? was. And look at how he bounced off, slid to the side, turned, and found his way into the end zone. Are they going for two at this stage? Looks like they're going for two. The way you normally try and manage a game. They hand it to Gurley, and he is met head on and stumped this time. Operate against seven, eight, nine man fronts. So they've got to find something to get them out of that. Part of that is throwing the ball, screens, and draws. Or Daryl Patterson barely crosses the 20 yard line. Dad. How about that? What a, what a man. We missed, we missed Big Daddy. First down throw, Bridgewater rolling and dumps it off to Jarek McKinnon out of the backfield for minimal yardage, if any at all. Could be a very big play in this game. Bridgewater. It's a long throw to the far side, and Diggs makes a catch. It'll bring up third down. A third down and three for Minnesota. Blitz coming. Bridgewater gets it away, and it's incomplete. A flag comes in. So LaMarcus Joyner got tangled up with Mike Wallace. Pass interference, defense, number 20. Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. And he's going to tell him to keep playing aggressively all day long. Well, he's known for his aggressiveness, Greg Williams. So the quarterback does just as a defensive player. It's a homecoming for Laurinaitis. Grew up here in Minneapolis. And Bridgewater will slide up to the 37-yard line. A third down and four up. Come. Make it happen in the main feature. Is that guy wearing number one who just saluted the troops? You are not lying about that. Look at this. Taking that shot that Mike Zimmer talked about. Just slightly overthrows Jarius Wright. That's part of that aggressiveness. If you do it long enough, eventually the, the officials quit calling things. And you get away with more. He really got away with one there. Tavon Austin. Two of the most dangerous punt returners in all the football on display here today. Nick Foles started the game 0 for 4. He's 4 for his last 4, including the big long ball to Britt. Getting a break is Gurley and Trey Mason, who led the Rams as a rookie in rushing yards last year. That injury 51 weeks ago. <laughs> Get him some breaks. Hit as he throws. And... Making the reception is Kenny Britt. That ball was underthrown after the big hit by Harrison Smith. And they just do get it off. Just in time. Screen. Red beautifully. Doesn't get any better than that than a 10-year veteran, Chad Greenway. Run team. He's going to play a lot. 130th career start today for Greenway. Short game by Mason, wrapped up by Joseph. It'll bring up third down and long. But a two out of four so far today. Blitz coming. Foles gets it away. Trying to thread it into the hands of Jared Cook, and it's batted away incomplete. Oh, it's her line has more than enough leg to get it there. There it comes off his foot, and it is good! Six! 61 yards by Zerline. Well, he has a wind at his back. Same direction on this kickoff. And naturally, he bounces one. It's going to be returned. Patterson will take a knee. At times, you miss big. Greg Zerline hasn't missed today. Big gainer for Adrian Peterson on first down. And that's up to the 32-yard line. In the, in, in down in distance. To try and get things loosened up to hand it to their big guys. 
Right back in his hands, and why not? Gain of two on first down. People got less and less aggressive about the longer field goal. Peterson again, crossing to 35. It'll bring up third down and six. Third down, Bridgewater throws. Incomplete. With an eye on Mike Wallace. Bridgewater had to get rid of it a beat too early and unable to do it accurately. Low line drive punt this time, kicking into that win. And Austin shot down. And they give it to him. And that did not fool the Minnesota defense. We have called that name a plenty. Joseph had a monster game in the win over Chicago just last week. First time we've called the name Stedman Bailey. Got a flag out of bounds and a flag comes in over on the sideline. Personal foul, grabbing the face mask. Defense number 24. 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. Automatic first. Burley back in that eye formation. Harkey in front of him. I tell you, they are doing an excellent job. All right, the Vikings defensively on Gurley. Two yards per carry. Gurley looking for a hold, dives across midfield. Maybe a yard or two short of a first down. Down time. Take it to Gurley. Put it in the hands of Tavon Austin. And I tell you, it's going to be very close. And that is a great open field tackle made by Anthony Barr. Which they do. And looks like Foles got it. Didn't need much. First down, take it to Gurley. Good protection. Now Foles in a little bit of trouble. Dumps it off to Gurley. And that's a gain of 11 on first down to the 35 yard line. Counts. That's counts exactly. Foles has hit on nine of his last 10. And this time they're going to lay it off to Austin. Lots of green in front of him. And he's to the 25-yard line, close to another first down. Things with them, show them all the time, get it to other people to help make plays as well. Early this time off the left side and not much there. By the way, that last carry, and that's what it was officially, a carry yes. for Tavon Austin on that 12-yard pick. This is a fast improvement to where they have been so far this season. Early, met by Greenway, down to the 17-yard line and a third down upcoming. So empty backfield on third down. Foles steps up. And in the hands, knocked out of the hands, of Jared Cook by Andrew Sindejo. 35-yard attempt by Sirline out of the hold of Hecker. And it is good. So for the first time today, the Rams lead. So McLeod's going to hold it. That win is a big time factor. And we'll see as we move into the second half if it's a game changing factor. Peterson in the backfield, they give it to him on first down. And across the 30. And across the 35 is Adrian Peterson. Peterson again. And not much running room this time on first down. Which would be amazing. Marcus Allen went to 37, I believe. Second down and eight. Bridgewater had a wide open receiver and hurried the throw. And I mean wide open was Mike Wallace. Five man rush. Bridgewater finds Wallace. And a really nice tackle. Made by Rodney McLeod. To join the salute and learn more, visit ml.com slash salute. Off the foot of Jeff Locke. Good punt this time by Locke into that stiff win. It's down at the 15-yard line. The longest field goal in the history of the NFL is Matt Crater. First down, it is Tavon Austin. 
139 to play until halftime. Early just been bottled up all day today. <laughs> Definitely safe. Second down. And here comes Tavon Austin again. And puts a move, breaks a tackle. And all the way to midfield is Austin. Existed with Tavon Austin. Rams start the timeout. One left. Take it both ways and wide open down the middle of the field. Lance Kendricks, fifth year tight end out of Wisconsin. Here on week one, the stunner in overtime against Seattle. And now looking for the end zone. And nearly intercepted. That's outstanding coverage by Xavier Rhodes. 37 seconds remain, an important third down and 10. That's Marquez, and again. That is just an excellent open field tackle by the 10-year veteran out of Iowa, Chad Greenwood. Nine, two out of two today, one from 61 yards away. And this one right down the middle. Three of three for his airline today. Here at two up two down, they've ripped off three wins in a row. Well, they trail as we begin the third quarter, 15 to 10. Patterson had a pretty quiet year. But a nice return here. And let's see if he stepped out of bounds. He did not. He dies for it and returns that one all the way up to the 47-yard line. Nearly nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. A play fake. Bridgewater steps up and finds Rudolph the tight end. He sidesteps one tackle and turns it into a nice game to the 39-yard line. Peterson beautifully picking up the pass rush and a throw to the end zone a penalty flag is down he was trying to throw it to Diggs coming away with the ball is Johnson but again we wait on the flag in this offensive pass interference 10 yards previous spot replay first down are you surprised by that uh, call Mike I think they just initially announced it wrong to begin with don't you since got position the, the other the turns and turns an into him the offensive pass interference will be declined will be st louis's ball first down in the 20 yard line. instead on stefan Diggs. penalty declined obviously by the rams so they get the ball on first hand and let's go back to mike Pereira after the stop by lynn ball joseph very very difficult for the officials coming on the blitz was Sendejo forcing Foles to step up in the pocket and there again is Len Ball Joseph. Oh, remember now, we talked so much about the win. They might be punting into this win in a moment and they're going to be punting into the win. First catch, second of the day, first in the second half by Stedman Bailey. I've seen a good punt out of this end zone so far. Let's see what we get here. Line drive punt. Takes a Favorable bounce for the Rams. Penalty flag down. They read the punter. He really got blocked yep. aggressively on the time. Kicking team, number 44. Minnesota's elected to take the penalty. Replay fourth down at the distance to the goal. Three now punting out of his own end zone is Hecker. A little very short punt. But again, a very good bounce. Sherrill's from a 33. And he'll step out of bounds across the 40. Starting this drive from its own 40. Peterson looking for a hole. Not much of one there, but does plow forward for a gain of four. The leaders for the Rams on the other side. North Jenkins, very aggressive corner. Bridgewater all day to throw. And the catch is made by Stephon Diggs, his first big reception of the day. Call for delay of game on the play. Please rest at the play clock. 25 seconds, please. We'll That's because the, the official, the, the back clock. judge, was looking at a play clock at the open end of the stadium. Wait a Peterson is 13 carry and this is a big one. Just wrapped up a touchdown saving tackle made by Rodney McLeod. The block, but if you find any opening, there's plenty of distance once you clear the line of scrimmage. Peterson again 
And coming down the line and making a tackle is Laurinaitis. We talked about James grew up in this area. Almost unfair having to play against their, their own great players. Bridgewater goes to McKinnon out of the backfield. That's a first down, first and goal, Minnesota. Down to the seven yard line. And inside the five for a first down. They're going to throw it. Bridgewater will run it straight to the touchdown. He ran for seven. He could have run for 107. And this is not what he wants to do. Watch how the play unfolds. He wants to throw it. But this is a look at this. Stop right there. Look at the gap he has to the end zone. He can't do anything but take that and run it in. And he understood how valuable it was for Minnesota to get into the end zone. And now with that score, they're going to go for two. They fake it to Peterson. It's a play that worked early in the game for him. Bridgewater's going to run it. And Teddy dives in to convert the two-point play and make it a three-point lead. And ups and downs for both teams all year long on offense. They live and die primarily by the run game and a great defense. 18-15, 8.39 to go in the third quarter. Quarterback Jay Cutler three times. Having an excellent game today, and his team has just taken a lead. Gurley leaps over the potential tackler, Terrence Newman. Newman took Gurley's foot to his head when he came up to make that tackle. Second down completion up to the 25-yard line. It's Kendricks. Bowles going to go right after the man who replaced Newman. That's Waynes, and it's incomplete on the throw to Kenny Britt. In a couple of number one picks the last two years playing for Mark Antonio. Hard to move the ball through the air. They call themselves the no-fly zone. A rare fair catch by Sheryls. Bridgewater and the Vikings starting this drive from the 28-yard line. They'll hand it to Peterson. And he is thrown down after a gain of two. If plays, good things tend to result. But I think we saw that in the last drive. Pretty nice throw right there. And a pretty nice catch in traffic by Stefan Diggs. Maybe a yard or two short of another first down. Wide receivers in the country coming out of high school in Maryland. Decided to stay home and play collegiately in Maryland. Flag down on third down and a yard. And we wait on the penalty. Minnesota the least penalized team in regard to yards. I think they're going to jump again. Offside. Defense. Number 95. Five yard penalty. Results in the first down. Peterson cut it back to the inside, and that's where he ran into Matt Longacre. Just activated for this game this week. They're excited about him. Earned his way here, and he's going to put a place in ball for us today. Well, that time it was Aaron Donald all over Teddy Bridgewater, who managed to just get it away. Impressive Tackles guys coming. A lot of impressive guys coming out of that school. <laughs> a lot of them. Third down, Bridgewater. Lines a backup tight end. That is Pruitt. There is a penalty flag down behind the line of scrimmage. Offense, number 61. Ten-yard penalty. Replay third down. Ten-yard decision to make him do it again. Third and 18, because it would have been fourth and three. And now Bridgewater in trouble just throws it away. So ultimately, it turns out well, at least theoretically. This usually usually brings out a flag and definitely increased scrutiny. Well, the hit on Mariana drew a, uh, what, $37,000 fine? Because there were two of them. Sliding down at the 20-yard line is Tavon Austin. Now the Rams with the football. Turn around and hand it to Gurley. Normally the second half is when he's just getting warmed up. And granted, that might turn out to be true. Minnesota, the only team in the NFL holding their opponents to 23 points or fewer. In every game this season, now Foles avoiding trouble. Launches a long ball, and dropping the pass is Tavon Austin. Should have been a huge play. Foul, dropping the pass, their defense number 98 with a blow to the quarterback's head. It's a 15-yard penalty, an automatic first down. 
And that was just a Joseph. And that was just a pure drop by Austin. Playmakers in this offense along with Gurley, who gets the ball. And pretty much a story all day, not much room. Tries to cut it back to the inside, and Robinson with a nice tackle. Let's go to Los Angeles. Except they did get run by Cincinnati out of line, Tony, on a third down and seven. Oh, yeah. And into the hands on the far side is Stedman Bailey. Oh, that was sniffed out beautifully. Him underneath it before anyone could get there and spilled the play. Outstanding punt. By Hecker. We haven't seen many going in that direction against that stiff win. Might have that. Intro champion. Peterson. With penalty flags coming down. Picks up close to four on first down. Maybe three. Holding. Offense number 61. Half the distance to the goal. Replay first down. Beautiful play made by Barron, former number one pick of Tampa Bay. Right around this time a year ago, they made the trade to the Rams to get 15 unanswered points. Getting that final field goal before the half, and the only score in the third quarter in Minnesota touchdown. Penalty flag down. Pitch made by McKinnon in the backfield, and the crowd applauding the initial signal already against the Rams. Holding. Defense number 22 prior to the pass. Five yard penalty for the previous spot. Automatic first down. It would have been a third down and 11. Flag down again. Rams have been penalized eight times. The Vikings five. Defense number 95. Five yard penalty. That's William Hayes. So he gave him a, an automatic first down with a penalty a moment ago. Now he gave him a first and five to work with. And Peterson will get three close to four on the first down carry. Defenses, but uh, I mean, teams going to a game with four or five, six different cadences. Well, that's, have that. another one. That's, that's one for Joyner where you wonder why. There was no doubt about it that Bridgewater was going to slide and Mike Zimmer is hot and you can't blame him. He is really hot. And you know what? You can't blame him. This is a dirty play. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic foul. You see him starting his slide. You don't see Joyner totally pulling off. It's almost like at the end, he's trying to turn at the end, but it's too late. He's already launched. And when you see a quarterback going into the slide, everyone knows that's the universal pull off. Sean Hill certainly has been one of the better backups in this league for a long time. This guy can throw the football. First pass thrown is fumbled and then recovered by Stephon Diggs. Possession for Minnesota. Sean Hill in his 14th season out of Maryland. He started eight games for the Rams last year. Well, they might want to get some stick on those hands for Adrian Peterson. That's two in a row. They won three in a row. Get the personal foul penalty. And now your quarterback has to lead the game with 13 minutes left to play. Third down and three incomplete. That was a big fumble by Peterson. Teams in your hands. Okay, Bridgewater's out. It's time for you guys to carry us home for this week, and we'll worry about Teddy after, we, after this thing's over. That's another ugly punt by Jeff Locke. Rams trailing by three. And they come back the other way, and it looks like Tavon Austin is A-OK. -okay. Because that's a big run, and he's down again. 20-yard run. Austin by far their leading carrier today. Although Gurley trying to get loose here, caught from behind by Griffin. We'll see him next weekend against Cam Newton and the Panthers. Last check, Carolina. His best running so far, and this is rookie year of the fourth and final quarter. Foles hit as he throws. Boy, that was an ugly hit, too. Didn't appear to be a late hit. Foles gets it away. Are they saying he's in the grasp? 
The penalty flag is down. That's going to be grounding. No doubt. Everson Griffin, what a move he pulls. And here's Griffin here, yep. Tony. Watch the spin move back inside. Chop, spin, directly to the court. Perfect move right there. Perfect. Potential grounding. Offense. Number five. Lost it down at the spot of the foul. It's the foul. Not start a game. And then really came on strong first year as a starter, as you mentioned, a year ago. Caught down at the 10 yard line. Everson Griffin. Lady, get up. Sean Hill, of course, is in there for the injured Teddy Bridgewater. And that's Adrian Peterson going toe to toe with a Minnesota native, Lauren Itis. Coordinator for the Rams. Key possession for them because field position was on their side to start it. Well, this is all about 28 on this drive. I mean, if there is a man that says get on my back, especially after his quarterback is knocked out of the game on a dirty play, well, he's knocking on the door now of a 100-yard day. Needed four yards prior to that carry, and he's right around getting to 100 on that carry. That's in the backfield. All of a sudden, you're giving those defensive linemen and linebackers time to find you. That's not what you want. Well, now he'll get a throw. Boy, you... You know, you, you, you do wonder a little bit now, and Norm Turner has done a nice job here. Mike Joe Burger has got to snap the ball when he sees that. Bill, hit as he throws, incomplete. Brown looking for a flag on LaMarcus Turner, which does not come. But I believe as this game has gone on, these officials have let them play downfield. They've been consistent that way. Great punt this time by Locke. And it will bounce into the end zone. Minnesota bought that fake. A vital Arizona, of course, they have already beaten the Cardinals in Arizona this season. That was the first game that Todd Gurley got loose. He tries to get loose to Xavier Rhodes, but that goes all the way something that's already replacing the outstanding rookie, Eric Kendricks. Trayvon Austin run out of bounds in the 27. We send it back to LA to Mike Hill. Make it quickly, make it count. A big third down, three yards to go. Throw by Foles, batted down, and a flag comes in. Intended receiver was Gurley. Trey Waynes made a real nice break on the ball. He's in there replacing the injured Terrence Newman. Illegal formation. Offense, understand the one was on the end of the line and not covered. That penalty is declined. The goal of the play is fourth down. Punt the football and get it back. Fourth down, and Becker puts a foot on it. Last is punt to Sherrill's at the 22, down on two knees to make sure. And he brings it up to the 30. Series, we're seconding about seven or eight. I think he's going to run the ball more now as opposed to throwing the, the football. Peterson cuts it back to the inside. That'll be a gain of close to five on first down. I think he's going to run it from here on out. Turn around and give it to Peterson again. Picks up a yard. So here he on third down and five. Third down. And in and out of the hands, it looked like of Jarius Wright. I certainly was. Give me up. Uh, Janoris Jenkins certainly was. Teddy Bridgewater, we're told, will not return. He is suffering from concussion-like symptoms and will not return in this game. Oh, you see the fine money in the paper also. <laughs> Into the hands of Austin. And what a play. Hey, at the end of the day, did, did he really make the play? I guess he did make the play, but that's Brian Robinson. Gurley. Picks up a first down and then some, runs through Rhodes, took a shot from Zendejo, but good enough for a first down. Here at tight one, Minnesota's won three in a row, an 18-15 lead. Their quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, has been knocked out of the game. And look at Gurley, who has had a very, very quiet afternoon. Who has not been with us the entire game, sir, line. A win-dated 61-yarder, he nailed it. Turn around and hand it once more to Gurley, and he's inside the 35, down to the 33. It's the first time the Rams in the second half have done anything on offense. 
Ray Mason into the backfield, and he is met head on. Greenway is there, Robinson is there. But the Rams are thinking about a touchdown to win the game. Tavon Austin behind the line of scrimmage and turns a disaster at least into maybe getting back to the line of scrimmage. If that turns into a seven or an eight yard loss. And they run it. And Gurley to the 30. So this would be right around a 47, 48 yard field goal for Greg Zerline. And he missed it wide right. The game is nowhere close to being over. The Rams have all three timeouts remaining. And on first down, they roll out Sean Hill. St. Louis in hopes of getting the ball back and another shot at a tying field goal. Well, they almost stripped the ball loose right as Hill was trying to hand it off. They'll hand it off, and I'm sure they'll spend another timeout. So you go back to the first down to box. It's Tavon Austin be able to field it and not give up any extra yardage. Let's see if the punter tries to skim it. Uh, he let it rip. And Austin from the 32-yard line will cross the 35. Very good field position. It's where you make your money time now in the NFL. They come after Foles on first down, and a strike he delivers to Britt. And that's up to the 48-yard line, a yard short of the first down. Clock running out of timeout to St. Louis. Cunningham staying in there to block. Lofted it down the sideline. Penalty flag down. And they will get Waynes, who is in there for the injured Terrence Newman. And that would put the ball in the 35-yard line. See, yet, watch, watch Wayne's in the coverage. That's he doesn't know where the ball is. Defense on the 26. And Britt does. I'm at a first down at the spot of the foul. And so he gets out loud. Foles fires far side incomplete. Second down, 46 seconds remain. No flags. That had an odd look to it as that ball was snapped. But not able to get it to Britt in the 25 is Foles. There is a penalty flag right in the middle of the field. Came in late in the middle. I think this is going against St. Louis for a hold. It looked like Greg Robinson kind of raised out of his stance and made it a little, a little discombobulated to start with. Holding. Offense, number 71. 10 yard penalty. Replay second down. You cannot get a holding penalty in this situation. Wow. Line of scrimmage from the 35 to the 45. Caught back in the 35. And the clock continues to run. We need to pick up some more yards. And the Vikings dropped pressure in the last play and doing it again. Incomplete. All right, here we go again. 53-yard field goal try by Zerline to tie it. Snap, hold, hammered. And it is good to tie the game at 18. Zerline gets a second chance. Back there alongside of Cordero Patterson, 12 seconds remain here in regulation. And the wind will push this one three yards into the end zone. Cheryl's going to bring it out. And he is leveled at the 17-yard line. Hill's going to take a knee, and we're on our way to overtime. You know, one play you can't overlook in this game that we talked about at the time as that one's booted through the back of the end zone is Jeff Fisher's decision to go for two early in this game. T rules about the decisions you have to make as a head coach and with the way the wind was swirling around today. Early on first down and again behind the line of scrimmage stays on his feet but that is a loss of six. Harrison Smith was the first one there to slow him down. And the Minnesota Vikings offense has just been in neutral. That play is going nowhere. And again, beautifully defended by the captain, Captain Munderland. They've got Zendejo standing all the way back to the 32-yard line. Nobody's getting behind him. And they try to get behind him, and that's just not going to happen. 
So three and out, Zimmer puts trust in his defense. They're always dangerous, Marcus Sherrill stands back in his own 45-yard line. That is a great punt by Hecker, chasing him back to the 23. And along the sideline, it is Sherrill. Did he step out of bounds? He did not. And this drive starts. Nearly in midfield, into the hands of Peterson, off the left side, across midfield, but that's about it. Second down coming up. Three and out for the Rams. And now a field goal can win it for Minnesota. Sean Hill throws, and it's caught short of the first down by Red Ellison. Third down and a yard coming up. But he has that same confidence going he had that year as a rookie. Walsh has one of the best legs in the NFL. And it's a first down and then some for Peterson. He's to the 30-yard line, wrapped up by McLeod. Well, they'd love to get even closer. Oh, they're not going to take it. They will take every yard they can get to get closer. And that means again in the hands of Peterson. Cuts it back to the inside. That'll be a gain of six on first down for Peterson. Laurinaitis wrapped him up. It's a fourth possession with Hill, the quarterback. It's only the second time that Minnesota's picked up a first down. That's maybe a gain of a yard. So it'll be third down and five coming up. He's already told him where he wants the ball on this carry. And it's going to be a carry by Asiata. He might get first down yardage. Nope. He appears to be about a half a yard short to try and win it from 40 yards away. And Walsh has given the Vikings their fourth consecutive win. a game winner by Walsh and these Vikings all of a sudden are six and two Peterson today goes for 125 yards and Walsh celebrating back-to-back -back wins Walking right past, not even looking at him, with Zimmer there. Fisher went back to take a look. But you can understand why Zimmer is very upset about his quarterback being knocked out of this game.